this is Himi Syed here in Vancouver. It is Friday, July 14, 2017. In the last little while, we have had a gathering of canoes coming from West Vancouver around Stanley Park uh, into uh, the bay here. And the canoes have gathered and landed. They asked permission from the elders and the chief of the Musqueam Nation here, uh, whose territory upon which I am standing on. And uh, this is a little bit of what went down earlier. This is all part of Canada 150 plus, and the plus can mean 10,000 years before and 10,000 years ahead of us. The plus is inclusive and uh, it's something that the city of Vancouver has done as a part of a year of reconciliation uh, in this city of reconciliation. So this is Himi Syed here at the end of the gathering of canoes and here's uh, how it looked from the beginning. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, um, I think we. This is the first time the general public's been invited. Yeah. Yeah. And first landing of this particular journey in Vancouver. Yeah, well. You should be careful to say yeah. that too. Because we've done many, many times, so okay. it's now known as Vancouver. Are you guys okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah. 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 Yeah.
uh, participating, uh, full of youth, police, dignitaries, or just people abroad in general who want to be part of such an event, to really get to know their neighbors a little bit. Can you talk a little bit about, uh, and you mentioned that this is the first time it's been opened up to the general public? And more to the point, it's not Canada 150 birthday. Also happens to coincide a lot with the truth and reconciliation and the calls to action. And a lot of that is to get to understand, to let the truth be told, and not to shade over the dark parts, but to let it be known to all of those. But then to also celebrate the the reconciliation portion of it is to open the doors and say we're not afraid to be who we have always been. There is no fear in that, and having no fear in that, we can now share it more openly. It's not something to be taken away. It's something that's in our heart. So, are you opening the doors as a part of Canada 150 to invite the public in? Plus. Yeah, 150. Plus. Yeah. I, I realized the significance of the plus, and I don't mean any disrespect. I happen to notice because it is Canada 150. There's not a single cat maybe a flag around. Is there a specific reason for that? I wouldn't know. I didn't set the flag up. <laughs> yeah. Just a no, question. I don't. Just yeah, it, it wasn't. <laughs> uh, it's going to be the same kind of idea next year. It all depends because the pulling together journeys start and stop in different areas. Uh, starting from certain nations, ocean nations will go through other areas. So it probably won't be here again for a few more years. But the idea, if those nations then want to open up their doors to their relatives and uh, neighbors around them, absolutely. Thanks, Thanks very much, much Morgan. Morgan. Okay, now I'm going to go say all that all over. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Well, I think in our community it's very important to have uh, the uh, whole greater Vancouver to be able to come out and celebrate with uh, 150 plus. Uh, the city is the first one that, that I know of that's doing the Canada 150 celebration by calling it 150 plus to give the uh, greater public in Vancouver and some of our uh, guests that come into our town to be able to celebrate with the uh, three host nations here from uh, the Lower Mainland. Talk about what's going to be happening. Well, uh, what's going to happen today is the, the canoes are coming from uh, over by, by Squamish and they're going to paddle in. We're doing the traditional way where we're going to, they're going to ask permission to come aboard, uh, come, uh, come ashore. Um, Musqueam's doing it the traditional way. I'm, uh, as elected chief from Musqueam, I have one of our elders talking uh, in the past when everybody come to our territory, not um, other communities, they would ask permission to come ashore. I have one of our elders that are going to speak on behalf of me which our elders used to do is have uh, a spokesperson on behalf of the chief granting him permission. So the three communities will be granting uh, the canoes to come ashore. And that's what will be taking place for in the next 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, chief, when was the last time you had a, a, a traditional landing of this size here in Vancouver? Well, we just there. did one recently when the uh, Prime Minister was here uh, redoing the Coast Guard station. So we did the exact same. We uh, uh, we had the uh, government representatives, and uh, when they reopened the uh, Coast Guard station just under the bridge here in, in Kitsilano. Let's get your full image coming, please. It's uh, Chief Wayne Sparrow from Musqueam. It's called W A Y N E Sparrow, like the bird. S P A R R O W. And my traditional name's Yo. Okay. Thanks. All right. Thank you very much.
Underneath the feathers, <laughs> the voice belongs to myself, said Salerno. My name is also Morgan Guerin. I'm one of the elected councillors for Musqueam and I've asked to be your MC today. I've lent my voice more than a few times for our people, for our nation, for our families, but never quite as dynamic as this. So that said, why are we here today? Well, today we've opened our doors for the first time in many, many years in a very open way. As Canada celebrates its 150 year birthday in Vancouver, they have added a plus. And we are very much that plus. So as our doors open, we spend some time to share a bit of who we are with our guests, with our relatives and with our neighbors, showing them how we've lived since the beginning of time here. What you'll see off on the shore to the north of us are some canoes. Over 20 canoes full of beautiful spirits who have come together to learn more about themselves as well. To learn about themselves and learn about each other, they're the Pulling Together Canoe Journey Group. So they've learned to go from community to community, sharing a bit of who they are, also recognizing those ancient ways and ancient laws of we, the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh people today. So they'll be coming in to ask for permission to land here on the traditional and unceded territory of those peoples in an old way, in a good way, with an open heart and an open mind. And what you'll witness is if it is seen that they come with an open heart and an open mind, our chiefs or representatives will grant them that right to come ashore, to break bread, to share a bit of time, and it is always an honor to have guests in your home. And in a way, as we start, or as we see how the protocol unfolds, they come ashore, but not directly. Let themselves be seen, let themselves be known. The canoe you see in the middle with the white front end and the white back end and the red middle has pulled from the shores here. It is the Musqueam canoe. And in the old way, <coughs> has met them in the water to make that initial decision. Did they come with an open heart and an open mind? And because that they seen that they believe that they have, they'll navigate them to here through the safe waters in the safe way to come meet our representatives. The canoe itself, I must add, is very much the lifeblood of who we are here. Although Mother Nature provided for us on land the resources, it was the canoe our snuck with that carried us out into the ocean and helped provide for us there. It is the canoe that helped carry us from area to area to go spend time with our relatives for this protocol to carry out and for the transition of knowledge of who we are. Because as it's known, Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh aren't a written history, they're an oral history. And in order to pass those pages along, you had to go from neighboring nation to nation.
At this time, I would like to invite our representatives from the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh, the chief or their representative, the voice for their nations, to come to down to the beach. We have guests. on the water can see the dignitaries and address them. And as the beach clears, it will fill again, except with canoes. Right so.
started many, many years ago with the ideal from Ed Hill after his Vision Quest journey, starting pulling together, bringing many people of many cultures together. A long time before the city of Vancouver started talking of reconciliation, before Canada started talking reconciliation and what we're going to do, we've been traveling in these canoes together. Bringing in Topo, one heart, one mind. Chen working together as one. As we, as Tomo, know, when you travel in the canoe, you become family, you become one. And I believe that's the purpose that we have today, is to come together as one. We've had 150 years of learning a new way. And today we proudly stand forth as a family. To share our cultural teaching in a good way, knowing of the history of what we call Canada, I believe in my heart are willing to start listening to our teaching. My elder told me, he says, son, We've had these years to learn from the newcomers. Now it's our time to step forward and be proud. Proudly share those cultural teachings without fear of our masks being burnt, without fear of our people being arrested. Today, in pulling together, I have many recent community friends and I'm honored to say that today on this proud day. So I come to you today, my family, much with they went to the open. And ask if it's okay if I bring some of my friends are here. <laughs> and again, asking these photographers to please do not stand in between this protocol. This is one of our teachings. Yes, cameraman in our chief's face, I'm asking you to move. Thank you. This is only out of respect. This is our teaching of our family. Please do not stand in between the canoes and our family welcoming us ashore.
for all of the history that we brought forward for our people to understand that this protocol has been carried on for over 10,000 years that we are aware of. It's uh, great to see you. Please come ashore. You're welcome. You have been friends now for many, many generations. And we know that you have come in peace to share all of these things that we speak of at uh, 150 plus another 20,000 years. In translations, I just wanted to welcome each and every one of you to the traditional territories of the Slavitur, Musquim, and Squamish peoples. Wanak is my ancestral name. 
and I come from the Tsleil-Waututh Nation. But my blood lineage is really strong with the Squamish peoples, the Kwakwakiwak peoples, Hawaiian and Welsh peoples as well. And it gives me great feelings inside seeing all of you here to witness this spectacular event today. I'm not paddling just in our own canoe. I have five other canoes that are part of this clan. And we're known today as the Thunderbird clan. And I'd like to introduce each of our canoes so that we can be one and ask permission to come ashore. The canoe that I'm sitting in right now is called Taheh Atskahehlas. It means Path to Perseverance. It was just a new canoe this year with a beautiful design. And it represents the past, present, and future. The past keeping us strong and holding us tight as a family. The middle part of the canoe is to represent the present day of the young Munmuns, our younger generation growing together in rebirth. And then the, four, the, uh, the future of the canoe, the front of the canoe is to represent the path that we're going to go down is going to be sacred and in the right direction. The canoe to my right, Aboriginal Police and Aboriginal Services. Udal is the name. With the city of Surrey, the Surrey School Districts, and the RCMP. And the Surrey RCMP. The second canoe to my right is Cien Canoe. The Cien RCMP again. The one, the other uh, beautiful one, right to uh, the Cien one. Semi Ammo Zactos Canoe. And in that canoe, they have people from out of state and Semi Ammo. And Harley, so uh, there you go, nice little canoe over here. Yeah. Woo! Spirit of the children, as you can see, we have a couple of young hunt in there. Awesome. <laughs> the last one is Spirit of the Sea, Semi Ambu. <laughs> So our wonderful fleet of canoes would kindly ask permission to come ashore, to share a meal, to talk, to get to know one another. Enjoy this beautiful day. Understand about pulling together and 
the new journey and bringing us back, helping us to come back to who we are as a people. I said, there was the Amicia, 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 Amicia. Remind me of the, what the throne is today is second beach, Kitiwo. Our ancestors, the beautiful women, had gathered at the area to use the Dysamokas material to clean the mountain goat wool, the swoop hut, of all of our territories when they brought down the mountain goat wool. Seasonal work that they have done. And the last person, the Squamish, the Squamish, to live here in Snow since 1913 when the government came over and asked their taller people to live. And they moved them to Spahan, North Van, to promote the Smith, the Capilano, and to find up at the Chica area, the Lewis family was living in here. With my late great grandpa and my grandfather, a Christian, the name that I carry today, had brought the barge on the shores to bring our people over. So we welcome you once again to our territory of the Snow Spokish Dumbo. On the water there is my nephew. I am so proud of him. And I am so proud of the canoes that are part of his clan. They're part of my Semiabo family. <laughs> and in the canoe with Dennis are a number of my co-workers. And I am so proud of them and thankful that they could share this event and truly witness who we are as a people. This is so much of an honor that we can all be so proud of everything that these individuals on the water are doing, not just for themselves, because truly it is their day, their event, but by them coming forward and sharing it with all of you, is truly pulling us all together. You are more than welcome to come on and share a meal with us. It is such an honor. Thank you. Thank you to our brother, speaking on behalf of your canoe families here, all different nationalities. As we look to our right, we have a village just past Rorsky Bridge known as Pumpjoes, 
that our ancestors had left for a number of years, and if you look to you right, we have the village of Hialpo, known today as Spanish Bank, which many of our relatives here on the beach, standing in front of you, had taken care of, the land had taken care of us as well. So at this time, on behalf of our Squamish people, we welcome each and every one of you to the shores of snow. Squamish and Tisoyawatus, it is an honor to have you come forward and land and have share a meal with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.